My boyfriend's hoodie is not your costume, Carol. Get frostbite, bitch. And if you are to add my boyfriend to your close friend's insty story, you can expect a close range pointing at your booty hole in Fortnite terms, in Fortnite terms. Okay, you know, don't cancel me here. No, but seriously, with all jokes aside, I, to be quite honest, thought that this entire situation was truly just a misunderstanding on both girls' parts. But after seeing some really different information. I think that Hoodie Girl is presenting some really sussy behaviors here. So you have this girl who cut off her friend because she believed that her friend was a little bit too into her boyfriend. And after seeing some evidence, I think that may be true. Get ready with me while I talk about the ridiculous things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to me. For context, I've never ever in my life had to cut out a person cold turkey and I've never had to go through a friendship breakup because genuinely I feel like I only open up to the people that deserve my time and I end up loving them for a lifetime, hopefully. But this girl was just an exception. I am going to try my best to talk through all of this without freaking raging. The first one is not that bad, I guess, compared to the other things that she's done. But the day that she met my boyfriend or like a couple days into it she added him to her close friend story and just started posting the random tmis on her stories like a attention trap not even a thirst trap it's like attention trap i don't know about any of you but i am not adding a man to my private story over on Instagram if I don't want him to see something. But what I will say is that to me, this is already sounding like a little bit of a red flag because while you have so many people out there who don't really think anything of a close friend story, it's kind of just like, why would you add people to see it if you really didn't want them to see it? Because I mean, like, not to eat my own ass here, but I get really excited whenever I see <laughs> that I'm added to somebody's close story. I see that green circle and I'm clicking on that immediately. I don't care. And this was before my boyfriend and I started dating, but like everyone knew that we were into each other. This one kind of goes with the first one. She borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we were all over at his house because she was cold. And then she took the hoodie home, which is fine, girl. Like, be warm, stay warm, don't get cold. But she continues to wear that hoodie for the next- Um, okay. I'm already uncomfortable with the fact that she took the hoodie home. I get it. People are cold. People are silly and they forget wind exists. But that is your fault. If you go out cold, you're going home cold. In my honest opinion, I feel like her friend should have just left the hoodie at her boyfriend's house, at her friend's boyfriend's house. Sorry, oh my God. I'm not really going to be comfortable wearing my friend's partner's hoodies. I don't care what gender this person is. It has nothing to do with gender or sexuality or anything like that. I'm just not really going to be feeling comfortable wearing other people's clothing. That that is just probably a me thing. If I'm going out cold, well, that's my consequence being cold. But to continue to wear the hoodie for weeks, I don't want to hear any excuses of, you know, I just forget to give people back their things. Okay, then why are you wearing it 24 seven? You at least have to be looking for this particular hoodie to be wearing all the time, or at the very least washing it to wear it over and over and over and over and over again. There is just no way. It's already still sounding really sussy but but I could be wrong and post all about it on social media a picture of her in a study which is again I can let it pass <laughs> no no I'm not letting it pass sweetheart you know my boyfriend's clothes are not your costume thank you starts to randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes never heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand before never until she met my boyfriend I kind of think that that like 
doesn't really matter, you know, because it could be a brand that her friend Joanna, it genuinely could have been a brand that Joanna had no idea existed before. And she's just like, oh my God, this brand is my favorite. It's absolutely amazing. Like, thank you so much for introducing me to it because I can get excited like that sometimes and it has nothing to do with me wanting your man like trust me no <laughs> um it has everything to do with the fact that I just found something that I had no idea existed before and I'm just like thank you thank you so much for letting me know about this oh my god their clothes are literally just like perfection they're everything I just don't know if that was the case Spending hours getting ready to see him, calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute and that she could see herself getting along with him while we were already dating. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him so that he can take it to work. I'm kind of surprised right now. No, because you know what they say, food is the way to people's hearts. Like, it's the way to my heart, that's for sure. <laughs> That is really embarrassing to want to wake up early to give your friend's boyfriend a sandwich. That's f***ing weird. I don't know. I don't know. Call me insane. Call me crazy or whatnot. That's on you. That's f***ing weird, bro. Because now that I'm talking about this months after it actually happened, I find this hilarious. I'm not even raging anymore. I just think it's kind of funny how hard this girl is trying honestly i don't blame you girl my boyfriend is cute just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning goodbye and i wish you the best okay so what does the hoodie look like what does her boyfriend look like because there are all these things that are flying around in my mind like is the hoodie really that cute her ex-friend responds to this and basically she says like the hoodie was really cute she forgets about giving hoodies back to people because she's like notorious for that or whatever this is the hoodie in question the most basic hoodie i've ever seen okay you're telling me this was what she was obsessed with be so for real right now a blue nike hoodie and the boyfriend looks like this Okay, now most of us can agree that this man is conventionally attractive. Oh no, this is not, the allegations are not looking good for you, Joanna. The hoodie allegations are not looking good, bro. We, we'll hear what she has to say, we'll hear her out. Let me just clear up some misconceptions that people are having online about me. So I don't know if you saw the video yet, but there is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reasons behind that. And I am that friend that's been ghosted. And it's just so baffling to me that I had to find out this way when I have reached out so many times, desperately asking you what was wrong. The points that were made in this video, three points that I remember, close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. I, no, that's bullshit. That is such bullshit. If it doesn't mean that much to you, why add him in the first place? Because if it doesn't mean that much to you, then it wouldn't mean that much adding people to the close friend story. So why add him? And it was not only him that I added, it was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there was a guy over there that she thought was cute. As her best friend, I'm gonna play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You guys should chat it up. They chatted it up, ended up going well. So we went back to his apartment with him and his friends and me and my friends. So we all kind of became like just comfortable with each other. And obviously if I'm comfortable with you, I'm just gonna add you to my close friends. It's really not a big deal. I guess to some people it really isn't that much of a big deal adding somebody to the close friends story over on Insta. I just don't believe her so far because there is something about this that isn't feeling good. The attention traps, I don't know what she was referring to because if it was attention traps, like why would she also be on the close friends? If I just wanted that to be an attention trap, I would only add, guys, I'm trying to get out. I don't, I don't know, but I post thirst trap on my public. 
I won't lie, she does have a point there, but it could also be that she is hiding the fact that that is a thing that she's trying to do because she added Kelly to her private story as well so that the suspicion is taken away from that because if Kelly isn't added to this private story, there is a huge problem with that, right? Adding somebody's boyfriend to a close friend's story and then posting certain kinds of content on there, there is people can look at that and and see something there for sure story so that everyone can see that um, the hoodie I'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies and I am sorry I just took longer to give this one back because it was really cute it wasn't it was not cute it was not cute it was not dude <laughs> so we already debunked that it wasn't actually cute whatsoever. So that is a lie. I truly believe that's a lie. It's not because it, it was his hoodie and like I wanted to keep it longer and like I just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie. It was literally because it was cute. The sandwich is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, you and I both know babes. That sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like, we were living together too, me and this girl. We were living together. We were roommates. If someone is to do something for me, I am going to want to reward them, either with money or if they don't want money and they're like, no, 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 like, don't worry about me. Like, I love you and I wanted to do this, but I'm still just, like, I feel horrible. Someone's just done something really nice for me and very helpful that I could have, you know, possibly paid somebody for. I'm going to want to give back to them. So usually I will make food. I I will buy food, I will buy them something, and that has nothing to do with me wanting to have relations with anybody. No, I think that's very weird. And <laughs> buying someone a sandwich, I mean, not kink shaming, but buying someone a sandwich is not necessarily going to entice them to get in bed with them, if that makes any sense. So I'm completely for rewarding somebody with a yummy sandwich for wall mounting a TV. Like, are you kidding? Um, so they were together, we were, us three were together in my room mounting the TV and like making jokes and making fun. And then like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted and he did it. So I was like, oh my God, like, I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work. And I put it in the fridge and I was like, okay, perfect. We have a sandwich secured for you. Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils. Because why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil, you know? She came with him to pick it up. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about, like, me getting him the sandwich because it was, like, for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him. That also is a good point because if she specifically wanted him to really know that I wanted to give him this sandwich particularly then she would have made an effort to do that instead she gave the sandwich to her friend to give to her boyfriend I to be quite honest don't really see any harm in that and that is me speaking as somebody who has been terribly insecure about myself in the past but I didn't care it was just a form of expression I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him. Left the friendship with the other girl together and villainized me. And now one year later, you come on TikTok to talk about it is so low. And why am I blocked? I literally saw the video. I commented and I said, let's not leave out details. Why'd you delete the comment? I'm, I'm sick of staying quiet. I'm sick of having to hear from other people. I heard this about you from her. We respected that you had your own perspective on things, but now that I know this is the reason, I'm so glad that you're not in my life. Here are the consequences of not expressing how you feel about certain things. Not expressing boundaries within your friendship. By not communicating at all about anything. I'm not sure why it's such a point, especially nowadays, for people in either relationships or friendships to not use communication because it is the best tool that you can use to fix problems, to solve issues. It's not weak to do. It can be uncomfortable for a lot of people, of course. Confrontation is something that I have always felt really, really anxious with and people have taken advantage of that in the past 
class because they know they can get me flustered and then I either don't say the right things or I don't say anything at all and I just go completely mute. I can understand why people wouldn't want to communicate these kinds of things like hey you're being a bit weird around my boyfriend like I'm I've been noticing these things is it just me being a little insecure about myself because there are definitely some things here that I'm hearing and I'm like okay we all deal with insecurities not just within us but within our relationship as well where we're like okay well there's probably always someone better out there than us you know may maybe my friend maybe they'd like my friend more than us but that is a completely irrational way of thinking but if you do feel this kind of way and you are noticing sussy behaviors within your friend trying to get closer to your man or trying her hardest to be around him or whatever like bring that up to her people are not mind readers as far as i'm concerned people don't know what you are thinking about so you have to communicate if you don't communicate unfortunately yeah the next best thing is ghosting someone completely and leaving them with a lot of unanswered questions. There are situations in which I think ghosting is necessary, but then there are situations like this and I'm like, okay, Joanna is a little sus here because the hoodie was not cute. The boyfriend is conventionally attractive. Everyone can agree on that. It's just that I don't think it was necessary to ghost the friend, the ex-friend, because they don't know what they did wrong. And so they can repeat those kind of behaviors in the future. And I hear it all the time. It's not my responsibility to hold other people accountable for their actions. However, they're not gonna know what they're doing wrong if you don't say anything if you don't say something like you could have just thrown away this forever friendship that was going to be really amazing very fruitful and you guys were gonna again make all of these memories but instead you ghosted her without any explanation and then on joanna's part her behavior definitely sounds suspicious in some aspects i feel like issues like this should always be solved off of social media now with all of that being said handle your shit offline Okay, I felt like we were in a personal group chat. Thank you so much for your time today. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions as well down in the comment section below. You may agree with me, you may not agree with me. You may be like, yeah, girl two, or you may be like, yeah, girl one, hoodie girl for the win, non hoodie girl. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.